Hello everybody and welcome back to Fans React. It's not a good day to be a Sunderland fan. We got beat 3-1 at home today to Portsmouth. Uh, and you can't really take anything away from Portsmouth. They deserved the win. They played better than us. Outplayed us in every sort of part of the pitch in my opinion. Um, Grant Ledbetter had a bad game considering he, he's played well the last few games. Luke and I didn't give away a, a penalty but to be honest with you but at that point it was... It was too late anyway, I don't think there's much he could have done about it. On the plus side, Charlie White scored a goal and to be honest, you know, you know, he, he did play well. He, I was watching him and he, he held the ball up quite well a few times, took the goal well. So yeah, he is getting a little bit of praise from me. I still don't think he's the best striker for us at the minute. I'd still rather be starting with somebody else. But, you know, he scored three goals in, well, two goals in three games in my opinion. Um, but yes... There you go, it's a disappointing day. I don't think uh, the fans are going to be too impressed with their reactions. Man of the match, flipping heck, it's a tough one. I always struggle to give man of the match when we get bit. I'm trying to think if anybody actually stood out. I don't think there was for me. Um, I can't. Maybe, maybe Denver Hume, I suppose. He, he, he ran down the wing quite a few times and got some decent crosses in, but... As usual, it's the the final ball is just pathetic and, and and not taking any chances that we get. Like it's just just shit basically. Um, yeah. So anyway, I, I've rambled on enough about it. We'll just see what the fans uh, think, and I'll catch you at the end of these. That game I feel like was horrendous from us. Um, the first half it was completely bad. Um, we came out in the second half looking decent. Um, whatever the, whatever he told them to do, it worked. For some time of the game. Got that foul at the end by 09. He's now missing two or three games. Um, and I think. I, I, I'm i I'm just speechless. I really am. Um, I really thought we'd at least get a draw out of that game. Or at least a comfortable 1 or 2 nil win. But seeing that performance from that first half. Was shocking. We'll give them far too many space. We'll give them. Far too many chances and led bit as pass was absolutely dreadful. I would want to swear as much as but I'm not going to. But I uh, just ter terrible performance. So I've taken some time um, to reflect on that game and just to say, really, I'm I'm not really happy. Usually, I don't really watch football for the rest of the day if Sunderland lose. Um, but I've you know forced myself to talk about this. <laughs> Um, I don't. I'm not really going to single any of the, of the players out. I'm just going to say, as the team performance in total, yeah, um, as a whole, it was it was very poor. It reminded me a bit of the Bristol Rovers match. Now, the reason why we didn't lose the Bristol Rovers match is because Bristol Rovers are not as good as Sunderland, and they're certainly not as good as Portsmouth. Today we played against better opposition, who pretty much put us in our place and beat us. Um, you know, so it, it, it's it's tough. It's tough to see. Um, there was a lot of um, passes um, being sprayed over the pitch, left and right. No simple passes. No simple balls. That's why we kept giving the ball away. Um, what else happened? Oh my god. Um, I mean, we didn't even have a single shot of goal apart from Mike's goal. Um, good for him to score again. Um, but I don't think he actually had another shot. It, so you know it's tough, but the thing is, is we are going to win games, draw games, and lose games. We can win them now at the start of the season and learn from this. If we learn from this, but we have to learn from it. Phil Parkinson has to tell those players where they went wrong, because if he doesn't, and he just goes, well, we'll just try the same system again next week, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work again, and he doesn't change anything. He's a very stubborn manager, so he's got to realise that this didn't work today, and whatever system he's playing, if he's playing against Swindon or um, Crew. They're, they're not as good as Portsmouth. So obviously, we're going to win those games or get a point out of them. But if we play like that against Portsmouth in a better opposition like today, we're not going to win them. So he needs, he needs to get that. He needs to understand that. All the players and staff need to understand. If we play like that, we're not going to beat the best teams. So we have to improve upon this. Learn from it so we can go up. Sorry this is a bit long. Cheers, Paul, for having me on again. Uh, how are you, lads? Well, I guess that's uh, our bubble from the uh, start of the season Well, it truly burst. Um, I think uh, Kenny Jackett picked Parkinson's pocket this afternoon. Um, he's sussed what we're doing, how we're playing. 
He's had his spies on us and he knew uh, the best way to combat that was to uh, put pressure on us down the middle uh, and exploit our weakness weakness on the, at the back, particularly on our left, uh, with power not tracking back and our nine being out of position. Um, the two goals we conceded were, were poor, not just poor in terms of conceding possession, but poor in terms of getting back and cover, and both of them were uh, inevitable. Um, I've never rated John Marquis. Uh, I'm glad we didn't sign him a couple of years ago, uh, but Portsmouth fans saying that was one of his best performances with them, for them, and um, I definitely think he um, he showed our strikers how it was to be done today, um, playing off uh, right and and looking dangerous, particularly next to Harness, who who does look a very good player. Uh, by comparison, I thought we were pretty toothless up front. Um, and if you're going to struggle to score goals at one end and you're going to concede softly at the other end, you're going to lose football matches. Um, for me, Parkinson um, didn't have a plan B, which I think has been said on social media tonight, but also sticking with 9 at centre-half, centre-back was, uh, uh, was a gamble. That really didn't pay off. He should have had Flanagan back, or at the very least kept McLaughlin in the back three, and I don't think Willis looked fit to me. He had a really poor performance today. Um, we finished the game with Grigg, Wyke and um, uh, Graham all up front, uh, or all on the pitch. Um, three strikers, three number nines, and yet still managed to look as though we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't threaten their net. Um, so poor, really poor across the pitch. Only Hume and, and Maguire would probably be accepted from that. Um, need to get back into the groove on uh, Tuesday night, start picking up points. But we were definitely beaten by a better team today. Um, I'm hoping that um, he'll take the opportunity to bring Flanagan back in. Um, and I think we maybe need to look at um, dropping power. Uh, Scallon wasn't particularly impressive today, but I think power was uh, was lost at times as well. Didn't do a great deal. And um, yeah, that's my Saturday night ruined. Well. Yeah, very disappointing result, and I mean, I couldn't uh, understand the Parkinson's defence selection today. I mean, dropping McLaughlin at the back, uh, and then bringing Willison, who clearly isn't fit, and I thought he was a bit slow with the first goal, and it should have been Flanagan there, in my opinion, and... But the good thing was we, we did respond straight away after their first goal and it was a well-worked goal by Hume and White finishing it off. But then we let Portsmouth dictate in the midfield. Grant Redbert, he just looked one game too many for him and he needs to be replaced maybe by Dobson um, because clearly, uh, you know, he... At his age, possibly he can't take too many games in uh, a short space of time. Um, and then the second goal, well, again, you know, we're exposed in defence. Um, I thought we were lucky to, to get to 2 1 at half time. But we did come out the second half. There, there was a spell where we, we tried to push into the box and tank but uh, it just didn't happen for us uh, I mean Charlie Wyke won quite a few balls in the air we just needed that to uh, them strikers which he brought on far too late uh, to get on the end of them um, and then again we're caught at the back uh, for the penalty I mean we needed someone there again like Flanagan or uh, McLaughlin to uh, sort that out but again it was down to look or nine and he was exposed um, for the penalty um, and then it was, there was no bit way back after that we, the game was over and we've we've got to move now, on now to Rochdale on Tuesday and sort that out So the game finished 3-1 to Portsmouth and um, we struggled today big time we struggled with pace um the harness player he he was going on the left wing the right wing we could have contained him and to me if the other teams got pace in their team we will struggle 
because Rai is not the fastest and uh, I mean Leadbitter they were running rings around Leadbitter and I thought three games in a week he looked tired today and I think that uh, took his toll we couldn't contain him and um, that first half we were very lucky to only concede two um, Hume I thought he was he was the best player because he was putting some some good balls in the box obviously for when White scored and obviously uh, White scored which is the only thing that we've got to be happy about because he's scoring now but we were we were so bad you know um, you know we were so bad at the back and Willis if Willis uh, to me he didn't look uh, fit he didn't look fit I thought he was carrying a knock as well Lee Burge was very shaky but we've got to we've got to put this uh, behind us and um, we're going to drop it away. Absolutely shocking performance out today. Like that's the worst performance of the season from the lads. That like Pompey fully deserved to win that game. We were shite, absolutely shite. Individual errors, like. Couldn't even do the basics properly. It's the worst we've defended, and that we're, like every time Pompey look like went forward, we looked like we were going to like concede. The only players for me that get any credit out of that performance today is Burge, Hume, and Wyke. That's it. Everyone else was really poor today. I'm not going to go, go, go. I'm not going to go too hard in on Parky or anything, but his substitutions today should have come a lot quicker. I mean, Greg seventy minutes should have been about five ten minutes earlier, and Graham came on the last nine minutes. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um, Lugo 9 getting sent off as well let yourself down he, he didn't have to do that if they were going to go on and score like let them score and that but just don't get yourself sent off do you know what I mean really poor not happy might actually might drown me sorrows with a nice kebab wrap maybe and that just is like a little bit of like frustration because upset disappointed and that like I, I hate losing games I, I do hate losing games but when you lose games like that when you you are you basically like not like you outplayed, but you're second best basically all the way through. And Pompey look more like the team that's been on a unbeaten like run like so far this season. We look more like like the like a Pompey you know, that's had an up and down start, and that way like you don't know which teams are going to come out and that. So it's very very disappointing. We've got to pick ourselves up though. Can't dwell on it. We must take six points from Rochdale and Gillingham. If not, then. We could we could be in for like a really like tough like few months ahead, but got to get back to winning winning as soon as possible. Keep the faith, but not happy today. Not happy at all. Shocking performance. Absolutely shocking. Sunderland one, Portsmouth three. By far the worst performance of the season. First half especially. I mean, everybody just looked nervous, shaky, uh, defensive mistakes, slow. Uh, not winning any of the 50-50 balls, not pressing, giving them all the freedom of the park to play. Very disappointing first half performance. Um, to give away three goals is unforgivable against a decent side in the league as well. Scown giving the ball away in midfield for the first goal. Ledbetter giving the ball away in the final third for the second goal. And then O'Line, O'Nine getting caught out of position and fouling him for the penalty, the third goal. Um, I mean, don't get us wrong, they were the better side today. Uh, I'm very disappointed. I was actually very angry about it uh, as I was watching it and frustrated as I'm sure everybody else was. Uh, they've got to make sure that this is just a blip and not the start of a bad run because that was the sun under the old when they come up against decent sides that don't play well. Um, so, yeah, I was shocked to see that performance today. Um, I hope, as I say, it's just a blip and that they can get it out of the system quickly against Rochdale on Tuesday night. So I'm um, disappointed and I just want the next game to come along quickly so we can get this out of our system, uh, as I'm sure the players do. Uh, one of the match for me today was probably Denver Hume. Um, I thought he had a good game. Um, I don't think anybody else really played very well. I thought it was just an average team performance. They improved in the second half, especially the first 10 minutes. But apart from that, one shot on target out of 10 attempts is not good enough, considering Portsmouth had 11 attempts and 7 on target. So yes, we had plenty of the ball, but we didn't do enough with it. So there's room for a lot of improvement. As I say, let's hope it's a blip. Well, that was disappointing. 
We didn't deserve anything from the game. White got a goal, Hume was okay. 09 sending off, well. Parkinson has been doing okay as manager. Today showed that he is very one dimensional, that what he does works while it's working, but as soon as it stops working, he can't change. He will play players out of position to suit the system. 09, Danny Graham shoved in in central midfield. It's not good enough. Portsmouth were the better team and deserved their win. They rumbled how Grant's been running the midfield and has put a stop to it. I thought maybe we stood a chance under Parkinson. After today, I would say we need a new manager. There you go, it was to be expected, not a very happy set of fans. Um, but yes, all we can do now is move on. Uh, I did say before the game, actually, I think I tweeted to Jam Sarney that it's usually around this time where Sunderland kick us in the nuts because we think we're actually going to start believing in a promotion push. Uh, so yeah, we've had that. Uh, we've had a reality check. Hopefully next week, uh, next week, next Tuesday, is it? We've got Rochdale, so we can get three points there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. I just want to say a big thank you for uh, everybody that sent in their reactions. Uh, if you want to send your reaction into future games, it's easily done. Just add us on Twitter, at Macam Tweets, and send me a message there. Or if you want, you can just leave a comment below and we'll sort it out from there. Anyway, that's it. Like I say, you guys take care. And for now, see you later.